Beloved in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, beloved in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, this is a very urgent, urgent message, a very urgent, urgent message called, Woe be unto the pastors, part four. Woe be unto the pastors, part four. Now, recently I've talked to you about the ministers that are preaching false doctrine within the Seventh-day Adventist Church and other apostate Protestant denominations. The once saved always say the new theology, no victory over sin, the atonement ended on the cross, the um, Jesus Christ not up there in heaven right now doing a special work as our merciful high priest interceding for us, blotting out sin, judging us by a sticking around with law, the moral law, character, law, according to these new theologian ministers. Well, the main part of the text that brings out this point about woe be unto the pastors is Jeremiah 23, verse 1, as the first scripture, like I dealt with in last sermons, and other sermons deal with, deal, deal, deal with this as well. Other scriptures deal with this as well. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Now, beloved, the scriptures that these pastors speak negatively of and can deceive the people on is Jude 24. Now unto him that is able to keep from falling and present you faultless. Romans 6 1. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. In Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. 2 Corinthians is right um, after Romans, Second Corinthians seven verse. We haven't done for these precious promises, dearly beloved. Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Now, beloved in the Adventist Church, these ministers that are teaching these things, like one saved, always saved, no victory over sin. That Jeremiah twenty three verse one calls. Woe be unto those pastors, or woe be unto those pastors, beloved, those false apostles. Second Corinthians chapter 13 talks about, actually, yes, yeah, Second Corinthians chapter thir uh, 13 talks about those pastors, beloved. Acts, Second Corinthians chapter 11 talks about, chapter 11 verse, chapter 11 talks about them. Verse 13, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming the, themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. So, beloved, Matthew 7 talks about these kind of false apostles that will come up in, the, in this day. According to Jews who transformed the grace of our God into lasciviousness. What does lascivious mean? Cheap grace. They, cha they change character affects it into cheap grace. Victory over sin into cheap grace. Serving God into cheap grace. Matthew 7 talks about them. Verse 15, where a false prophets was come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Now, beloved in the Adventist church, these represent those false ministers, the pastor at First Church in Oakwood and, and all the churches in the area here in Huntsville who teach no victory over sin, once saved, always saved, and that we uh, and that um, the atonement ends in the cross. They also teach us the sing and swing celebration style churches. Um, they teach um, Sunday surge and jury and flesh eating, all these things that we discussed before. These ministers teach these things and they're lost, beloved. Go to churches like State Line, Seven Adventist Church, Dr. Isaac Olatunji pastors, because he believes in victory over sin. He believes in hymns in church. He believes in no jury. He believes in no flesh meats and fried food and, 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 and white rice. Stay with ministers like that who believe in character affection, beloved. Because if we don't believe in character affection, this ass is going to be lost. We must have victory over sin before the sons of the lost past, beloved. Because we're, we're in the time of trouble, we're going to be living without a mediator. 
Jeremiah, Jeremiah 20 talks about this. It's either Isaiah 20 or Jeremiah 20. One of those scriptures talk about the fact that he saw no man and he saw that there was no intercessor. So in these last days, we're not going to have an intercessor. Jesus Christ is no longer going to intercede for us in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. He's no longer going to talk to his heavenly father about forgiving us of our sins. Because at that time, all of our sins will have been blotted out of this heavenly sanctuary. And we're going to have to overcome sin and save ourselves with our own arm, our own righteousness, beloved. So, beloved in the Adventist church, do not give way to... Um, one saved always, said no victory over sin, told me of the cross. They told me to sit on up in heaven since 1844, beloved. And these false ministers in the Adventist church that teach this new theology are going to be lost, beloved. So woe be unto those pastors. Woe be unto these pastors that destroy and scatter the flock. You said God's not being treated them anymore. And beloved, they are false apostles transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And Jude says that they... Um, Turn the grace of our God into less serious. First John 3 9 says, um, First John 3 9 says that we should um First John First John 3 9 says, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remained in him, and he cannot sin, for he is born of God. So, beloved in the Adventist church, you must believe that Jesus Christ shares the same nature that we do. He can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, and it was all poor and simple like as we are, yet without sin. And that when we're born of God like him, his seed remained in us, and we cannot commit sin. And that, and that verily took the name of the nature of angels of the seed of Abraham. What is that nature? Took upon him Abraham, David, and Adam's nature. Abraham was a liar. Adam was a uh, transgressor. David was a fornicator and a murderer. He took upon himself that nature. Solomon had many wives. So he slept with women that were not, not of God. And, they, and, they, and these women... Um, worship false gods. So, in the Adventist church, if you want to be still for this last day, you must realize that Christ shares our, our own nature like we share. And he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And he overcame sin the same way we, 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 we must overcome sin. And if we can touch with our sins, beloved. But don't listen to people like Pastor Son and Dr. Bird who have the Christmas tree, who bring the first their singers into their pulpits on Sabbath and the random crusades, who believe the one saved always should have no victory over sin. Who believe in dancing in church, who believe in women's ordination, who believe in women elders and pastors. Don't listen to these false ministers, reject their apostasy and heresy of his assets. You can be sealed. Because if you not if you keep on listening to these ministers who are serpents who don't believe in the prophets of the Bible and the wise writings, you're gonna be lost, beloved. And I don't want you to be lost, I want you to be saved. That's why I preach this prayer and truth. God bless you, Maranatha. And Oka was wrong for inviting a homosexual, transgender homosexual to the school this past. Um, Thursday for the chapel to talk about his homosexuality. Oakwood is a run amok. So even if Oakwood does not give me the certificate this May because I preach out against this, beloved, I don't care. I'm going to preach out against the apostasy, beloved. Maranatha, God bless.